next. Alright guys, I have this new ZTW Beast G2 ESC 120 amp unit. This thing has been previously run in my HBX 2997A and worked flawlessly. Now I have it in my Traxxas Bandit, but first I need to do a throttle calibration. So I was just looking over the instruction manual and if you want to see this, you can go ahead and pause it and see the directions. So the first step, you want to hold down the power button until it beats and a blue LED comes on, then it'll change to red. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and pull down the throttle and the blue light should blink three times and then the motor should beep once. So let's go ahead and give that a try. This is the first time I'm doing this. So that was one beep. Pull up reverse. Two beats, neutral, three beats. So that should be it. It should be calibrated now. And I believe I can go ahead and turn it off and cycle it back on. Now, previously when I turned it on, it was kind of going ahead at a low throttle input. It was, even though I didn't have my finger on the trigger, it was making the car try to go forwards. And now it seems to be set properly. So there's low throttle, ease into it a little bit. And you see the red light will come on. Now I'm only running a 2S here. This car goes nearly, uh, it goes about 80 miles an hour on 2S and nearly 100 on 3S. So it makes me a little uneasy uh, giving it full throttle here. But at any rate, calibration is set. And we're going to go ahead and give this thing a rip first on 2S and then 3S and see if it holds up any better than my Traxxas ESC. This one caught fire, almost burnt the whole car to the ground. Um, and then this Hobby Wing unit, 120 amp ESC, it was running well for a while, but then the capacitors blew on it. I tried to solder some new capacitors on here, but it did not fix it. I have steering, but no throttle. So I think I burnt something out internally in this Hobbywing ESC. So will the ZTW ESC fare any better? I don't know. Stay tuned and find out. Thanks for watching. Take care, guys.